Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to teach everybody how to make one of my smoothies because I get asked all the time. So I make these every, well, I, eat, I try to eat two a day, but so that's my smoothies. This purple one is when I do more blueberries. The green one is when I do more like pineapple and apples and things like that. They have kind of a different, unique taste, but they're pretty good and you can eat them on the go. So I'm going to try and set this up so you can kind of watch how I'm making these. But so here's our other ingredients. So I got spinach. Let's see if I can get where that's at. Spinach here. Yeah, there we go. Coconut water, so I'll use three per thing. Um, it's kind of how I do the liquids. And these are the smaller 11.1 fluid ounces. There we go. And then I have a cucumber. We'll use half of that per smoothie. We we'll use one whole big carrot like this per smoothie. I use an avocado, and sometimes I'll double up the avocados. It depends on if I'm like working harder or muscle sore or anything. And then I use this apple cider vinegar. I use turmeric. I use a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of honey. And then I cut a lime and have and squeeze that in there. Once in a while, I'll put like a quarter of an hey, onion. I'm, I'm showing my smoothie video, okay? So I'm going to start adding this stuff so you guys can kind of see. I don't have a lot of, uh, like I'll kind of show you how you kind of just balance it. So this is a Ninja Blender. Um, it's the 72 ounce 9 cup one. If, if you have a smaller one, you're just going to have to put smaller portions. So I will use a half a tub of the big spinach every time. So, I'll stack all this in here. I do a half all at once when I first do it. And then I will always put a little bit, if I have it, some darker grains, so your kels and things like that. Um, you wanna do spinach though, if you do, if you do this with all kel, it, it's very potent and it's not good. Like the, the way I make them now, they taste, you don't even taste spinach or kel, you, it just tastes good and you feel better. And that was the whole point of making these because I used to get up and eat fast food breakfast all the time, like grab a breakfast sandwich or, I mean, I didn't always, sometimes it was like a granola bar, but it wasn't enough to keep me like, I don't know, you just, you feel drained. And I know everybody hates that feeling, but we eat on the go and it's quick and easy and pick something up. So all the spinach goes in here. We did half of that big tub of spinach. If It's pretty much one regular tub. I buy the tubs because they quickly uh, get bad if you buy the bags, so or you gotta freeze them, which I do with my kel because I had a brother of mine bring me a whole bunch from his mom's garden. She planted, I mean, a crap load. I had to wash it all and then I bagged it in Ziplocs and put it in the. So I, I do almost three. I always take a little drink out of one of these just because I don't know. Yay! So there you have your coconut water. I'm gonna cut this cucumber now. Slice it open. One side feels bad, so I'm not gonna use it. A lot of times you're gonna freeze a lot of this stuff, so if something is a little bit juicy or whatever else, um, rotten-ish, I wouldn't say rot, but if it's got some issues, you're gonna freeze it. So, happy big cucumber goes in there. Then I use one big carrot. I just kind of make them a bigger chunk. And I'll usually be prepping and doing the other half for the other because I try to make two batches of smoothies at once. So then I'll shake up the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I put probably, I'd say about three capfuls. I've kind of got it to where it's about three capfuls. That, again, all this stuff balances itself out. And then I'll do a little turmeric. I usually just dust the whole top. So not a whole bunch, but just enough to get, I don't know, I like turmeric. so. And you, and you can make these a little less or a little more potent if you want. I'll put one one whole lime in there. Not like ground up, but I squeeze them all out. So we'll squeeze all this lime into here. And then I'm going to start blending that. And I won't add my fruits until the last like quarter of the top. Because fruits are very uh, acidic. They have a lot of sugars. Um, and you don't want to overpower your smoothie with that. You want like three quarters vegetables coconut water and, and good stuff and then the acidic is probably only a I would say a quarter of it so I'll throw this lid on blend it up a little bit so we get a little more room we're gonna put then you got more room to actually do this we're also gonna Put one whole avocado. And I like to buy these like, um, I usually let them sit out about a week. They're pretty, 
I wouldn't say brownish, but like even this one, I didn't let it sit long enough. It's only been a couple days. So, but yeah, I like them. You want them kind of, I know people think they're rotten, but I don't, I don't like the hard ones because they're a lot harder to do this. You just got to cut the pill, but they should fall right off of the pilling if you're, if they're the right, how they're supposed to be. So then I'll put that in there, that one. And it's at this point, I usually add a banana. And once, once in a great while, I'll put like, like I use uh, some, they're not vegan, I, they might be, I don't know. But so I'll take this off a second and show you. I have a protein powder, because I have a food allergy kit that in case some whatever happened, we can just make these, but they're an organic protein. And I can, once in a while, I'll put one scoop in there. And I mean, it just kind of gives it some filler. But a lot of this stuff, you're mixing so much stuff together, you don't really have to worry about the tape. Get that out of there. So, because by the time it's done, it, it tastes pretty good. So then I'll use a little bit of honey. And when I say a little bit, you're kind of doing what you did with the turmeric, and you're just going to do like one little round on the top. You don't need a lot of potency to it. I do a little bit of salt, just because it is a lot of vegetables. You, you can throw pepper in here. You can. I'm telling you, once it's blended up and frozen, it, it tastes different than like if I were to drink this right out of the thing. But it's, it's still pretty good. So... But everybody kept asking, what do you put in that? What do you put in that? So my bananas, I like them brown, like that. I have a half and a half from this morning. I usually let those sit out like the avocados. You don't, the, the brown of the banana, I mean, you don't, again, want it rotten. Like it doesn't look like that on the inside, but you want it pretty brown. So I add that. Let's see if I've got everything else. Honeys, cherry, avocados then. So we'll put this on and I'll blend that up. And then as you can see, you have about... I'm gonna stop it for just a minute. So you have about a quarter left, maybe a little less. Um, and I'll show you how you do that. I'm gonna grab the frozen fruits out of the fridge real quick and I'll show you the two different bags they use and why they are two different colors. So, and each way, I mean, they it tastes really good and you're, you're adding vegetables back to your, basically your diet and you, you feel better. It helps your brain, your everything. Like I'm telling you, you'll feel like, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't even like eating fast food. Like. And I used to eat like three meals a day almost. It was ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause that a minute. So the purple one, I'm gonna use nothing but blueberries and that, that's really good with your uh, antioxidants and things like that berries have a lot of but you want to switch them up you don't want the same thing every time so the one that's purple is a lot of blueberries the one that is uh, less and again I switch all these up and I mark them like the purple ones I know it's blueberries and then uh, these ones this is a pineapple strawberry grape peach I think that's all it has in it pineapple strawberry grape peach probably but I mean you can get whatever makes you like if you want it to be sweeter and not as bland, I don't like really, really sweet stuff, but if you want it to be sweeter, do all mangoes or all pineapples. And, and at the end of this, so for this one, if you if you like sweet, right now I dumped the rest of this bag of blueberries, it's gonna turn it purple. So I'm not gonna do the blueberries this time, I kinda do want a sweeter one, but I mean, you can mix up whatever fruit you want at the end. You already have a banana in there, so that's, if I didn't do that till last, you're at your quarter mark. But I'm gonna put a bunch of pineapples in this one. Um, Again, if you want it sweeter, pineapples and mangoes. Um, and still keep all your avocados and everything else. And I'll try to make a little list of all the stuff I put in here at the end. But I kind of like to switch it up. And the frozen just kind of helps it freeze at the end. And I'll kind of show you that. But And sometimes you can make that pretty high. And then you got your full. You also want to let it blend for like a minute. I think mine's set to a minute and 10. Because there's otherwise you get some pretty big chunks. But I kind of blend it as I'm going. So you guys know that too.
real quick while this is going. Excuse me, sorry. Okay, be loving and kind and do stuff together. Or get your own stuff, please. So I also, on those cups, I have to get cups and lids, which are downstairs. So we're gonna run and get the cups and lids. And then I didn't put the kelp. So I have this bag of kelp that I just, I freeze them and that's about half gone now. But if you rinse them off really good and then put them in the bags and pack them and break them up, it'll just like crush into your, crumble into your smoothie when you go to do it. So cups and lids, cups and lids. It's, I didn't even hit the light. Should have done that. Sorry for the dark, but we're gonna grab. So that, that batch right there makes, I hope I have the, oh yeah, I don't. So the 12 ounce cups and lids I have right here. Let's see if I can get them in there. And I get those at Sam's. They have them in a pretty good price for bulk. So six lids, usually it makes about six cups. So I'll grab a chunk of lids, grab some cups. Actually, I usually have my daughters grab them, but they're not here. They're in another town with their mom, but that's cool. So, uh, my younger Alex likes to eat these. Bria, not so much. And then Gabriel likes to eat them, but if your kids don't. Guys, be loving and kind and get along. I don't want to listen to whining. Don't want to listen to crying. You know what, how to act. Excuse me, guys. So, my wife also bought these. Let's see if I can get to the right shelf. These smoothie pops, you can put them, you can do that for your kids too. They, Ari will eat those, but she uses uh, more orange juice and stuff like that, not the coconut stuff on that. So we'll finish this. you didn't add too much frozen fruit or it's too thick to come out the lid but so we'll pour these per cup should be about that consistency then I fill them to about there and put a lid on them so they have about an eighth that first line on the rim ish and like I said if you set a time and like set this up and do a bunch of batches at once you can just freeze them all and then later on, I mean, they're good for a long time. So I tried to set one out the night before in the fridge and then it's pretty slushy by the time I wake up from the fridge. And then that's pretty much your six cups. There's sometimes a little left over that I'll just drink because so you get about that much left. And then I'll rinse all this out, lid this. So I'm gonna make another double batch, but I'm not gonna do it on the video, but Put all these lids on and you can make these I've kind of got it down to it's about oh uh, what did I say a dollar about a dollar 86 to like 225 depending on what how prices of stuff are going up per well yeah per cup I mean you're about a dollar per cup but I mean anything you're gonna buy you're spending four ten who knows what in the morning on just garbage and junk that doesn't make you feel any better. So that's basically how you make these. I can do another one with these other ones. Uh, but again, it's kind of what you want at the end. The blueberries will be the darker one. If you want it sweeter, you want mangoes and pineapples, apples. Um, and then just, I, I don't know, I mix it up. And once in a while, like I said, I'll throw like a quarter onion in there. Um, I didn't think there's any cinnamon. I didn't put the cinnamon in this one, but I'll put cinnamon powder in there too a lot because that kind of gives it like a whole nother taste. So once in a while I do different batches, so it's not always just the same bland taste. But like I said, you can make it sweeter or whatever. And I'll try to write a list for the thing. So hope that helps y'all. Stay healthy. I mean, the better you feel and the better you eat, the more mental you feel, the more your gut does better. And just a lot of our health problems come from garbage and processed foods and sugars. 
cancer, all of it like comes from those sugars and, and the healthier we eat, the better we feel. Um, I still drink once in a while and do other things. I, I, I don't live like a really vigorous life. I just, I tried doing this more in the morning and afternoon and then only eat one crappy meal a day. So, and when I say crappy meal, I mean fast food. Cause I mean, if you cook all your own different meals, you're, you're still getting good nutrients. So if you eat a lot of fast food, you're going to feel crappy a lot of the time. And I got tired of feeling like that. So love God, love people, love y'all. If you need anything, write it in the comments.